Let's talk about TickTick. -tick. So this is a program and application that I've recently started to use and I love it. What it can do is have a to-do list. It's a task manager. It has a calendar as you can see over here and it has a Pomodoro timer, which is really neat. So if you hold on to control, alt and P, you'll see this Pomodoro that allows you to have that, you know, those, those increments of 25 minutes to five minute break time to allow you to be pretty productive. You know, you, you stay on top of your, your, your projects and your homework assignments. And so if you look at my account right here, you'll see four categories, school, home, work, and hustle. Within the list section here, you'll have school, but underneath school are going to be classes. All right, classes within school, same with work. So you may have multiple jobs. With hustle, you may have YouTube, podcast, you know, some Spotify related things. Uh, with home you have different components of your home and if you look down here we have tags that consist of low focus medium focus and high focus those are the three main tags that i want you to have because this is going to be a, a quick crash course i want you to have the essentials at least and so with filter assuming that you have premium you'll have these neat icons that show you all of the school related tasks uh, that you may need to perform that you may need to complete and so if you look at the Eisenhower matrix over here which is another great feature you'll see how you can prioritize all of your assignments high focus over here medium focus on the upper right quadrant and we have low focus and this is a really neat I guess guideline for what you should be doing um, on your daily basis so this is amazing but at the same time, there's another feature, actually. There's the habit feature. So tracking your habits, going to the gym every day, cleaning out your inboxes, meditating, maybe going out on a run every day, stuff like that you can add into your TickTick. -tick. And I think that this is an amazing program. Actually, this is called GTD, also known as Getting Things Done Program. And this is probably the first program I've ever approached um, other than Habatica, or Todoist, but I've never came across a program that had so many features. And when I looked at all of the other YouTubers who've used TickTick, -tick, they used it in different ways. And I got so amazed, so I actually watched almost all of the TickTick -tick videos that I've seen on YouTube and tried to create a system that kind of works best for me, but I think can also work best for my audience here. So I want to actually go through a crash course where we start from the beginning. Okay, let's let's try to go into a new account. All right, and going into this account. Oh, actually, I have some stuff here already. So let's let's just delete all of this right now for now. So I can tell you what you can do. So just taking out all of this right now. You'll notice that there are three sections in this main page. You'll see list, tag, and filter. Filter is a, is a component that is provided to you if you have premium, but I think the free option for TickTick -tick is amazing anyways. So what you have are gonna be lists and tags. And so in your list, you wanna make a folder, a folder called home. And within that home, you have a bedroom, all right? And then let's do another one, a folder that has school, all right? And school, you have a class, let's say biology class. Uh, another one, let's do, Mm, hustle okay and then in there you can put in your twitch channel but if you look over here you have um, you, you should have four lists actually so the fourth one should be let me see home school oh school education all right oh no wait no we already had school um, what was the no what's another one? Oh, work work and let's say you're working as a technician all right, we'll delete one of them. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so we have work, school, hustle, and home. These are typically our four main categories that I encourage all of my audience to use. And then with tags, I want you to have a medium, medium focus tag, high focus, and this is going to allow you to prioritize your tasks and line them up on the Eisenhower Eisenhower matrix. But 
with the Eisenhower Matrix, you only only have that if you have the premium. So I do encourage getting the premium, but if you want to try it out first uh, as a free option, it's a it's it's great to use anyways because you can still let's say for example with school, right? Um, let, let let's also add another list. So I'm not sure if I added biology already, but biology is there. Let's add in chemistry. All right, so let's say that we go into our inbox and we want to make sure we finish first uh, biology homework assignment. All right, we can use hashtag for medium focus because it's, it's going to be due, let's say, within a week from today. So medium focus is within a week, low focus is within a month, and high focus is, is on that same day. That's going to be my convention, but you can have different conventions for low, high, and medium focus. So with medium focus, we already have the tag in. If we press enter, you'll see medium focus as a tag on the right side. And it's typically, I, I like to have the colors as, as yellow for medium, high focus for, let's say, red, and then low focus for, mm, we can do purple, OK? And so if you look at your inbox, right, medium focus is, is yellow. And that's going to help you really differentiate, you know, the medium focus from the high focus when you see the color red versus yellow versus purple. Now, within here, it's still in your inbox. So you want to make sure it's being placed appropriately into the, the right list. So if you use that little kind of dash but swiggly, You'll put that, it, it's it's a symbol that's close to your number one on the keyboard, by the way. You just shift and then you press that button. But anyways, this is the character that you use. And then after that, you type in biology. As soon as you click enter or press enter, it will be in your biology section, in your list. And it's going to be medium focus. And so all you have to do is, assuming that these are all folders for you, you're going to click onto school and now you have medium focus. So let's also say finish second chemistry homework assignment and this is going to be high focus and let's say that this is chemistry well this is going to be in the school category already so you'll already have school in here and it's going to consist of all of your classes such as chemistry biology I think you can see the point here let's also change the theme the color to dark and now it looks even better. High focus for red, medium focus for yellow, and this can help you differentiate what you should be kind of prioritizing. All right, there's another option for, for prioritizing, which is the exclamation mark and then high, but I, I don't really like doing that because it, it only shows you this as a red box, but I'd rather see the tag, okay? And so in your tags, you can, you can add a lot of things, but uh, I think uh, uh, another important one is weight, and I'll tell you why. Because if you want to do, let's say, finish fifth chemistry assignment, all right, wait. And then let's say that this is low focus. And then we put that, we put that into chemistry. Notice that I have wait here. And the reason why I like using this tag sometimes is because you can't really use you, you can't really perform or complete this project until you finish the other projects the the third the second the fourth chemistry assignments that's why you have wait here but as soon as you finish the fourth assignment then you just press click onto this and now it disappears and now you can say okay I can do this now and then you can change the focus too if you want so t take clicking that out and then doing high focus bam it's as easy as that so this is what I really appreciate, uh, 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 and including the Pomodoro section. Click on that. You can download fries. Oh, actually, this is something it's for premium, but you can use the clock white noise feature. Sounds like that. All right. And then it would be in a set of four, but you can really customize your Pomodoro feature here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. You can actually connect your Google Calendar into TickTick. And I actually used to use Google Calendar religiously for everything, for my getting things done 
uh, as a system. I relied on Google Calendar all the time, but I realized that TickTick uses their own calendar, but you can at the same time synchronize your, your Google Calendar. But I think I'm going to be using this exclusively because if you go back to, if we go back to my account, actually, let's go back to my account. Essentially, I, I gave you like a good rundown on at least the, the main things that you should probably look into or perform when you start this program. But let me go back into my account and let me show you the Eisenhower section where I have all of my high focus, medium focus, and low focus sections. Now you'll also have the Google Calendar or, or just the Tic Tic Calendar. They're all combined and if you look over here you'll see that there are a lot of tasks that I've added into different lists and then all you gotta do is really go to day and then you just drag the actual task into a certain time slot which is amazing this will make your life easier you can also just tag it based on priority so if you want to do low medium high now you have all of the low medium and high focus to prioritize essentially the high focus one first for earlier in the day and then you do your medium focus for maybe later that day or the next day but you can see how it can be very easy for you to modify your schedule and to keep yourself busy and productive at the same time but i really like this eisenhower matrix i think i'm going to probably stick to using this religiously but I wanted to show you how enthusiastic I am over this program. And I hope that you can actually use this as well. In regards to memory, uh, I guess we shouldn't forget about memory. We can actually, you know, add in request. Well, it's not really fancy, but if you want to kind of think of a mind map that you've created before, you want to add that mind map over here, just type in the name of that mind map, right? And then you can attach, you can actually attach the actual mind map into this section to remind you to make a memory palace for this mind map. It can be a little complicated, but it's an organized way of placing all of your mind maps and your memory palaces. And the reason why I kind of talked about this, or I am talking about this, is just due to the fact that you can create a, a list in regards to, let's say, reference. Okay, and then within reference, you can make sure to drag all of your tasks into reference instead of completing it. Some people do this. I, I saw some YouTubers do this, but in reality, I would just do control find to find all of my memory palaces. As long as you have the letters MP within the title of that memory palace, you can find all of your memory palaces. And I think that this is another way to really organize all of your memory palaces instead of using Excel sheet or Discord. In the memory world Discord server, we have a channel dedicated to TickTick. I want to showcase my work and to really show you all how I can use TickTick effectively. So I hope that this is a very good uh, segment for you. And if you have any further questions, maybe about some of the advanced features about TickTick, I'm more than happy to give further tutorials on that. Like for example, with filter, when you edit that, you can add in your emoticon and you can make sure that it's connected to everything rela in relations to home. So for example, the tag, if you have tags in relations to home, you can also have lists that are associated with home as well. So this is to make sure that everything that's associated with home will be in this home category. Same thing with school, same thing with work, same thing with hustle. With work, you have multiple jobs and you have you may have multiple projects. With hustle, you may have multiple YouTube channels, Twitch channels, crypto investments, stock investments. You wanna make sure you have this all organized. So initially, what I would typically do is add everything into your inbox for like maybe an hour or so, and then I would categorize them into the list. I make sure I, I uh, prioritize them through tags, and then I can see them all in the filters. But I really like prioritizing them, making sure that they are in the Eisenhower matrix, and I can just do one individually within the, the red section, the high focus, and then medium focus, low focus, and then 
everything else. I hope that this helps. Have a nice one.